In this video, we're gonna be continuing our Essentials series in Madden 23. We're taking a look at essential passing concepts that can transfer no matter what Madden that you're playing. And in today's video, we're taking a look at one of my favorite passing concepts in the game from the bunch tight end formation. Now, this is a concept that does apply to formations that are not just specific to bunch tight end, but we're gonna be showing you the bunch tight end manifestation of this concept. This concept is really, really good for attacking man coverage. It's a good for attacking zone coverage and pretty can do actually decent against match coverage. So really, regardless of what the defense calls, we're going to be able to uh, have something open, generally speaking. Now we are in the Lions playbook. Lions has uh, a lot of different really good formations. Trip side in, bunch side in, bunch tight. If you want to get my entire uh, offensive ebooks on all of these formations, join the Patreon for just $10 you'll be able to get access to a ton of resources to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're really looking to take your Madden game to the next level in Madden 24, the Patreon is a great place to start. Now, out of the bunch tight end formation, we're going to be taking a look at the play X spot. X spot is going to help us create one of my personal favorite passing concepts in the game. It is known as a sale concept. And this concept is really good out of uh, any kind of bunch or tight formation this year, really effective for attacking the sidelines. And it does have the best man beating route in Madden 23, which is this little tail corner. And then we can also create uh, really, really good route combinations off of this. Now, I've done several videos on the channel talking about why meta isn't necessarily meta and off meta isn't necessarily off meta, but it's more conceptual and it's also more um, just formations in general. So with that said, here's what the sale concept is going to basically do for us. We're going to streak the left side bunch receiver we are going to then uh, and then it kind of is up to you on the right side what you want to do so for example if you were running a traditional sale concept you would run it would look something more so uh like this where we can put the running back out and maybe do a little in a little um dig route and a out route as kind of a check down read Another way you could run it is in Madden 23, especially if you have tight end apprentice, you can run a tight end post and then maybe run like a, a running back wheel route or an, an in and a wheel. Uh, those are fine. But really my favorite way to do this is to utilize a tight end drag and a running back angle route. Um, this is gonna create kind of a trail concept that is going to, essentially the purpose of this concept here is to have the middle of the field as our check down read if the uh, left side's not open. Our first read is always this flat route. If we can attack the flat, we're gonna do it every single time. That right there, uh, being able to throw that flat against man coverage is really, really good. Um, you can use this to beat the blitz. So if they are blitzing you, you can just highball this flat and get out there and get you know, five, 10, 15 yards with a simple basic flat route. When we get into, so let's say that, you know, maybe they do something to stop that. So one of the things that they can do to stop that is they're going to utilize this man up here and they're going to have a hard flat on the outside and maybe do some adjustments, you know, in that direction. The more adjustments they have to do to stop the flat route, for example, the more it's going to open up the middle of the field for us to be able to attack with our running back and our tight end. As you can see here, this corner route, pretty decent at getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage. It's what makes corner routes really, really good in this year's game. So now they're going to have to have something over there to defend that. Now, if we think through what are the things that actually can defend that from a zone coverage perspective, really it's only this adjustment right here. It's a backed off cloud flap, typically. And then they're going to also still have to have that hard flat for the flat route or they're gonna to have to have somebody helping in man coverage. So what this does by having to have a hard flat, a cloud flat, all those zones, is it limits what they can do with their user in the middle of the field. And this is why this route to the back is gonna be wide open as a result, typically. They pretty much have to use the running back. Because they have to use the running back, we think through from, again, just a simple adjustments perspective, all the things they can do uh, in man coverage to try to defend this, they have to take the running back with themselves. So they can't, they, by very nature, they can't take the tight end. And so because of that, the flat route to Carmichael will pull out the flat zone, and then you can throw this tight end route in this little pocket for about five, 10 yards. And I would also add to this that you can actually utilize 
a five yard in route that cuts a little sharper and can be a little bit more consistent for beating man coverage. Now, how does this play uh, do at attacking zone? The reason that we have our bunch to the short side of the field, so we're on the left hash mark, we're gonna run our, with our bunch receivers to the short side of the field. If we flip this play and we try to run this concept, let's say they run like a cover three or cover four, the reason that this is so good um, to the short side is to the wide side, that outside quarter can defend that corner out. Wasn't actually able to even make the stop there, but he does have a little bit more of an ability to defend that. But when we run this with our bunch to the short side here, now all of a sudden you'll see that that outside quarter zone really can't defend that corner route. So it limits what they can do defensively from an adjustments perspective. They can't really run cover three or cover four to try to stop the corner out. The corner route's gonna be open every single time. It doesn't matter if they have a curl flat. It really doesn't matter what they do. Like that corner route is gonna be open. The only real thing they can do is they can go to this match coverage, which this match coverage will do a decent job at defending the corner route, but it doesn't defend the tight end in and it doesn't defend the angle route. So if you look at what we're doing, we have a sale concept to the left side, and then on the back side, we have a concept that does a really good job at not only attacking the space, um, a different space in the field, but it also does a really good job of attacking any defense that is going to defend the sale concept. And so that's what you want to be doing with your play calls, is you want to have plays and routes that work off of one another well um, to set yourself up for success. And then if you wanted to put the wheel route there, you see, uh, I love the wheel route against man coverage because most people don't have deep route KO on their linebackers anymore. And so you can free form and high ball this up and outside. And a lot of times you're going to get that over shoulder catch, especially if you have a big back 6'2 or taller, um, you get a lot of those kind of catches. And then again, we're still nicky knacking uh, with the uh, quick flats. So the beauty of this formation and really the beauty of this concept is you're able to attack a plethora of defenses with one setup. And with one setup, it's gonna force them into very specific adjustments. For example, they're gonna to have to have a vertical hook here. Their user is gonna to have to be on point to take the running back, and they're gonna probably have to be in match coverage. The problem with match coverage is, match coverage is not gonna defend everything else that we can do from this formation. We'll talk about some other setups tomorrow that will be really good for attacking you know, other defenses uh, or attacking match coverage. One of the simplest things you can do is if they're gonna run a lot of match coverage and you know that's what they're running, really simple, motion the running back to the left side, you can even block him, and now their match coverage doesn't work anymore. So very simple strategy to really take advantage of the match defense. Guys, this is the sale concept. I think it's absolutely essential concept for bunch tight end this year. Um, you pair this concept with the cross concept we talked about yesterday. It's going to really make your uh, bunch tight end offense even better. And if you really want to take your bunch tight end offense to the next level, you can get our entire ebook on the formation by becoming a Patreon member today. For just ten dollars, you'll get access to all of the Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is in the description. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.